What's going on guys? Um, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be working on the 6.0 power stroke again and um, we're gonna be changing out the fuel pump, but not the entire fuel pump, just the sending unit um, because the housing is still fine. Buying the sending unit was way cheaper than buying the whole thing. So we want just the sending unit. I'm gonna pull the old one out and then take it apart and put the new one in. And that all starts now. All right, so there's a few things that we're gonna be using today. Um, so we have a socket to take off the fuel filter, which is gonna be a 35 millimeter in my case. Um, I don't know what the equivalent and standard is. Um, some disconnects for the fuel lines that are connected to the fuel pump. A 13 millimeter on my Milwaukee, not sponsored. And uh, then other than that, it's just disconnecting the, uh, I believe it's two pigtails that are plugged into the fuel pump. See, I've already got the fuel pump, uh, fuel filter out. Um, I would suggest getting something like a milk jug or something like that with it cut open so you can catch some diesel. All right, so um, I believe that's it guys. Uh, let's get to it. All right, so on the driver's side of the truck, you're just gonna go right under the driver's door and you're gonna look up right here. Let me get under here with you. All right. Right here are three 13 millimeters and those are for your fuel pump. We're gonna be taking those out, undoing the pigtails and then pulling that out and I will be back. All right, so I don't know if I said this earlier or not, but I used the 5 uh quick disconnect tool. Um, so I've got it out now. All right, so I just held the fuel pump like this and this was still connected obviously. I disconnected the three bolts. They were 5 16 and then I just took my thumbs, pressed it right out, came out easily. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some clean diesel and I am going to try to wash this thing out as much as possible, get all this trash out of here. And uh, once that done, once that is done, I'll be putting the new fuel pump in here and we'll be putting it back in the truck. I'll be back. Okay, so because the inside of mine was so dirty from in the bowl, um, I went ahead and took this side piece off where the fuel lines connect. Um, it was a quarter inch, uh, quarter inch bit on my drill here. Um, I don't know how well you could see this, but like, look, what I, I just pulled that out of right here. So if you're going to be doing this, I would suggest taking this apart and making sure all of this is clean before you start putting everything back together. You're going to end up with the same damn problem, um, i.e. low fuel pressure. All right. I'll be back. All right, so I've got the fuel pump uh, reassembled. It's pretty much idiot proof, so I, I don't really see a way where you could fuck this up, but um, it's all back together. I got the fuel filter back in there. And then I got the new uh, f sending unit back inside the, the housing of the fuel pump. So I'm about to get back underneath the truck and uh, basically just plug everything back up together and get in the truck and see what my fuel pressure looks like. All right, well, uh, let me get that done and I'll be back. All right guys, so we're all done and uh, if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up or a comment below if uh, you didn't like it and tell me how bad I did. But um, as always guys, if we don't see you in on the road, we'll see you in the next video. As always guys, if we don't see you on the road, we'll see you in the next video, peace.